Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to master the Mustang, specifically landing. Landing the Warbirds in DCS can be quite tricky if you don't follow the correct process. So in this video, I'll show you how to stick the landing every single time. Easy. Let's get cracking. So here we are in the cockpit of our Mustang and we're on the way towards our destination airfield. Now, you can ignore the speed pretty much as long as you're about 250 miles an hour, uh, you're on a good approach. So I'm just checking left and right, no one's there. Now I'm going to fly into about a thousand feet and I'm going to hold roughly a thousand, maybe a little bit low, a little bit high, but around about a thousand is a good height for the approach. Now I'm going to fly straight down runway heading and then I'm going to roll the throttle off and the propeller RPM and I'm going to do a midfield brake. So a midfield brake is when you go halfway down the runway and then I'm going to brake high into the left. So I'm going to have a slight climb while I turn left. So just checking left, no one's there. Passing down. So start the brake now. I'm going to start putting the flaps down, putting the gear down. And I've got slightly nose above the horizon as I maintain this turn. So I'm just checking down there, speed's falling down past 200 miles an hour. Now I don't want the speed to fall below about 120 miles an hour. So I'm going to maintain the nose just slightly above the horizon, just the slightest bit, and I'm maintaining this left hand bank. So maintain the left hand bank all the way down, my props off, all my RPM, propeller RPM that is rather, is all the way back. So I'm just now managing this by moving my manifold pressure slightly forward to hold that speed. So I'm sitting about 130 miles per hour. Gears down, flaps down, I've looked across to the runway, there was nothing on it, so again, just maintaining that speed. Having a look, yep, we're in line, so I'm going to continue the turn a little tighter than I was. So at this point, I've not levelled out the turn. I've maintained this gentle left-hand bank the whole way in. Looking in again, just for line-up, so I'm just going to roll that turn out just a touch, keeping an eye on the runway, keeping an eye on my speed, so speed there, is about 115 miles per hour and I'm holding that all the way around. I want to cross the threshold of the runway at about 100 miles an hour. If I do that, I'm then going to land at about 90 miles an hour. So again, I'm just managing the manifold pressure, pushing up as I turn, add power as you turn because you lose lift. So adding the power, turning in, nothing's on the runway, getting ready to come into land. Still that left hand bank, I've not rolled level, not lined up miles away from the runway holding it, I'm just watching the runway all the way in. You can see the aircraft begin to shake a little bit as I approach 100 miles an hour. So roll the wings level, 100 miles an hour, and then we gently let her settle down at the runway, bring the manifold pressure off, and then we try and touch all three wheels at the same time. After you've done that, it's just a case of being very gentle on the brakes. If you push the brakes too hard, you're going to nose over and flip upside down. So you're just nice and gentle on the brakes, keeping it steady down the middle. And then when you're slow enough, you're going to turn off the runway so that other people can come in and land behind you. So what I'll do now is I'll put that in the external view with the internal overlaid together. And you'll see what it looks like. You'll see that continual turn in those speeds. So here we are again on approach. I'm looking down on the runway, there's no one there, there's no one taxiing out. Then you can see in the top right there, the external view. Now, if you watch how smooth the turn is, I'm not snatching at the controls, I'm not being erratic, it's just nice and smooth. So gentle left bank, keep the nose above the horizon, and then a gentle pull. That's the gear going down now. And we're gonna maintain this left hand turn all the way around. Then you notice in the top right, if that, if that doesn't glitch, which I'm not sure if that's my recording software or the replay. Right, there we go. <laughs> We're smooth again. So we continue that left-hand turn. Now you can see the top right, you can see the wing. The wings are still angled slightly down towards base. I've not leveled out at any point. I'm still angling down. Bottom left, I'm looking across the runway, seeing if there's anything there. Again, zoomed in. I've not rolled out. I'm still angling. My, the closest to roll levels are there, but even then it's still a left-hand turn. We can see the aircraft coming past the hangars, continuing left, looking down that one final time. My wing's in line with the runway, so I'm going to start my final turn now. Just tighten it very slightly, then you adjust all the way in. And now I'm just doing a gentle descent as I'm turning. Looking towards, again, top right, nice and smooth, nothing erratic's happening, the plane's not under any 
pressure from me throwing it around the sky. As long as I'm not below 100 miles an hour, I'm not going to stall out. 120 is easy just to cruise around. Adjusting everything on the manifold pressure. Continuing that turn all the way around. Looking at the runway. Nice and smooth, looking at the top right. It's a nice smooth approach. It's not erratic, it's not anything mad. And then we see that nice smooth approach. So the wings are leveling out just as across the threshold. Wings go level. And then we try and align the sight picture. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So there we go, a little touchdown. Now, what I mean by sight picture is basically aligning the aircraft up so it looks the same as you touch down as it does when you're on the ground. So I'll, I'll pause the video when I get into that sight picture. So we're rolling around now, rolling around now, rolling around now. Not there yet, not there yet. Just as we cross the threshold, wings come level. And now I'm matching the sight picture. So I want to align the canopy with the horizon. Now there's a few markers on the Mustang that I align with the canopy and it means my wheels will touch down all three at about the same time which is going to stop any wayward bouncing or rolling around the place. So this line here, if you manage to align the horizon where the canopy rail meets the front of the cockpit, if you keep that line level on the horizon, you'll land all three wheels at the same time like an absolute champ. If this video has helped, then please return the favour and help me by clicking that like, subscribe and share this video with all your friends. If you want to help further and keep me in coffee or have a look behind the scenes or come and be my wingman, of course you can click that Patreon link. Come along and join me at Tactical DCS, I'll include a link in the description for that below. That's it, that's the landing of the Mustang. I hope you find it easy from now on and you get up there and down safely in the virtual skies. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.